What's going on, everyone? It is Monday, Solar Eclipse Day. If you got a chance to see it where you're living, um, it wasn't cloudy. It was tremendous to watch. I'm in central New York, upstate New York area. I did watch bits and pieces of it and stay outside and watch the whole thing. Um, been busy in and out. And I got a um, mail day that came in. I've already opened it up, but I am going to go over it. But what I am going to do is share because I'm never going to get this area neat as I want to. I've done some renovations. It's a small office, but I just want to show you what I work out of, where I have stuff stored. Um, I have tr been trying to go through a color change for my logo. And then underneath this map, <clears throat> I ordered way too big. Uh, so I have to get a smaller size, kind of like this map, but I'm going with a black background, white lettering still, and then still the the blue and the green so basically i'm just changing this color from the red to black um but we're gonna go ahead and show you what i've got going on in here but i just figured i'd go over mail day um has anybody ever watched some of the youtube thing and then just something triggers you um, because they talked about who they were collecting especially baseball there's so many prospects the uh, jackson holiday that's going down back down to the minors eventually will get called up which don't know when um and then Somebody Nate says uh, Xavier Isaac of the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, kind of a little skittish to do anything because, well, Wander Franco, but I uh, can't hold the, the Rays that against them for Wander Franco's issue. But this guy's a beast. He is not in the majors. Um, he's like 6'4", 280. He's a first baseman. He's got power. Um, so I thought, you know what, let me snatch up some of his cards now. I'll hold on to him in hopes that he gets called up and then there's a bump in there and I'll, I'll go over what I got and what I paid for him. So first place I had looked at was, um, on Macari and I found his, his, they're both first Bowman. I have another one that's coming in that's serial numbered, but, um, it's not here yet. Um, this is his lunar refractor, uh, the lunar glow is what they have here. It's a PSA 10. It came already graded. Uh, Isaiah, or excuse me, Xavier Isaac. Um, I paid, I just got to do a cheat sheet here. I paid $61.81. Um, so I, the guy had a price on there and I'd asked for $50. He agreed. Of course, you got all the taxes and the fees and all that junk there with Macari, but um, $61.81 lunar refractor. And then I went to eBay and picked up on a $50, I think, bid to. Not a bid off offer. I think fifty nine fifty six is what I paid. Yep, fifty nine fifty six. So this is his uh, Bowman Sapphire again. It's his first Bowman. Came PSA ten, not serial numbered. Um, I took this one out of the bag. So it was a pretty crappy bag that it was in um, holder. But so that's what I've got with that. And I have another blue one coming, and I think it's serial numbered out of one fifty or something. Uh, paid a little bit more for that one. I don't remember offhand. But when I get it, I'll go over that. And then I picked up. This LeBron James, it's a 2018-19 um, optic orange. Um, it's a nine and a half with BGS, um, but was looking at it. He's got nine and a half centering, 10 edges, nine and a half surface, nine and a half corners. Um, my thought was to actually crack this out and send it into PSA because the price with PSA is significantly higher. Um, I want to say a PSA 10 is going for like, 300 something i remember offhand and then even a psa 9 was going i paid um all in shipping um oh and then to top it all off this is serial numbered so it's 140 out of 199 uh i paid 191 dollars 70 cents and it actually came from uh, taiwan china one of those two and i did confirm uh the serial number on it but so it's just an optic orange 1819 lebron james um I'm thinking about cracking it out. Why don't you give me your feedback? What do you think? Should I just leave it as is? Um, I figured with PSA's big on surface, a nine and a half for surface, PSA might be good with that. Um, centering seems to be pretty decent. Um, and then, like I said, the edges and the corners are pretty decent too. So I thought I'd crack it out, see if I could get a PSA ton on that. So let me know in the feedback down below. As far as sales go, uh, I want you to do this on a regular basis, but as sales go, for me, sales have been somewhat consistent, and I say consistent, I could do anywhere from five orders to 12 orders a day. Um, I already have three orders going out for tomorrow. I've already done those up, um, and usually overnight between now and when the mail picks up, which is between 10 and 
10 a.m. and noon. There's no exact time. Um, I'll have some orders that'll come in. I have stopped doing promoted listings. And then since I've stopped doing promoted listings, um, it seems like my sales have gone up. And then I also try to do at least 10 new listings a day. Um, I have since then, and I'll show you when I do the tour, um, bought the uh, Rico or Fujitsu uh, um, 8170 scanner. Um, that's helped out tremendously. And I'll show you the pile of cards now that I have to sort out and put away after putting them and listing them on eBay. There's still some things that I need to tweak out tweak out because um, I'm using Car Dealer Pro. Um, I have my own store category, so it's putting everything under baseball, like 1979 to whatever, 1980 something. And, and I got to figure out how to way to, to put it in the categories that I have for my store. If not, I, gotta, I mean, I got to go in and edit it afterwards. Um, starting to get the listings down a little bit. The AI is not as accurate. And I think that's just a whole nother video to go over um, the Car Dealer Pro AI after scanning cards because there's been some headaches with that. I think I finally got the scanner figured out because like prism cards were really dark. I figured that um, it was grabbing two cards and duplicating them. And then, yeah, it, it was just a nightmare to start and it took me forever to set up. So let me get off that tangent. So I'm actually going to pick my cell phone up. I didn't put it on a tripod tonight. Uh, <clears throat> as you're going to see here, this is straight ahead. So these here boxes here are I had some cards given to me. I try to zoom out a little bit. And instead of just throwing them out, I filled them up with cards. And then I took like four or five cards out of there. And I took pictures of the cards. And I listed them on as a value box on eBay for like 40 or 45 bucks plus shipping. Um, I promise you there's more than 40 or 45 bucks. There's well over 100 cards in here. They're not in sleeves. Um, they're, they're loose, raw, but in there, there's some value there. They're probably very good to excellent. They're not mint. There might be some mint in there, but wasn't taking my time to describe all of it. Uh, so if somebody was just starting out or was looking for something, maybe for a card show for a, a dollar bin or whatever that is, this is the nice value box. I have three different ones listed on eBay. And then I've done some other ones here. Um, there's a hundred card plus um, value in there again they're they're just raw cards but i listed those on ebay too i got a bunch of those for even cheaper uh so if somebody was looking for that and then this big stack here is all baseball cards um this is pokemon um i did dwindle down a lot of my hockey there's hockey i have not done anything with these yet these goody small i got some football some basketball and there's my box there. I've got some cards, just some storage stuff there. Um, some clothing. Um, my catch all there as well. But here's, you know, like my penny sleeves and my top loaders. My scale. <clears throat> and these have got to go on eBay still. Here's my spreadsheet of stuff of what I bought. And then I've got my scanner there. This is my nice Ken Griffey Jr. autograph jersey with pin and rookie card and his photo and it's been framed and matted certificate authenticity i've had that for quite a few years now i'm um, going around uh so and then i have my thermal printers underneath um, this printer i use once in a while and then over on this rack i just added this rack and so my hockey cards are here um my baseball cards are here some empties some binders of stuff empty boxes some books that are listed, <clears throat> some eBay supplies. And then here I've got um, top sleeves and obviously my top loaders, some more tape. I went to the final four the year that Syracuse Orange went and played. I have my uh, <clears throat> rack here with, without reflection, I apologize for reflection, but just to kind of get What's in here? Might be going a little too fast. You get the idea. And then, <clears throat> yes, yeah, Lakers fan. Over here, got my TV for Sports Center. Got Marcus Camby autograph, reproduction mantle, Ultimate Flips mug. I got my uh, wax boxes behind the TV here, but so. This is basketball, 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 and basketball, and then two football. And then I have uh, top loaders, or uh, excuse me, slabs in both of those containers there. 
and then some boxes there supplies empty boxes a lot of priority mail if anybody's ever ordered priority mail and you ask for a bundle of 10 have you gotten more than a bundle of 10 so this is all my like shipping supplies so i have my reused bubble wrap and stuff here the reused paper excuse me paper here and that's really about it in a nutshell it's a small space um it's definitely usable space i'm gonna put you back on the thing here that i can do and use and i know i can always revamp the shelves that are above me to create more space if i need to but this works um i got the extra shelving because the one shelving that i just showed you where the basketball was they're they're set for 200 it'll hold 250 pounds per shelf <clears throat> but all of my cards are in penny sleeves and top loaders I do not store them in just penny sleeves. So there's a lot of weight in those boxes. Uh, matter of fact, I'll come back over here real quick. There's a lot of weight in these boxes, so it'll start to bow, but they're alphabetized. So this is all basketball. Um, Derek Coleman, you know, going all the way to Keontae George. It's all alphabetized. So it's not by card year manufacturer. It's alphabetized. So basketball, alphabetized, A to Z. Football, alphabetized, A to Z. Hockey, I think you get the picture there. So th this is the small space that I work out of. Um, it works for me. Um, I'm not a huge. This is part-time. Um, if I go full-time, I'll have to create more space and do something different. But uh, for right now, that's what I have. Um, I didn't show you what I have for sealed stuff. Um, there's a bunch behind the TV, but I didn't want to move the TV. But I told you I would do this. It's a long time overdue. And I'm going to try to do more of this. Trying to give you an update of what's selling. What I think selling. What's selling for me. What I've been buying. And we'll go from there. I do have a bunch of PSA orders coming back. <clears throat> I think three are in grading. And then I have another four that are just arrived. SGC. I think I have three orders that are received. That I'm waiting for those as well. A lot of Bryce Young. CJ Stroud. Anthony Richards. Uh, Richardson, um, and maybe a few others, maybe some hockey stuff like Bobby McMahon, maybe some Connor Bedard stuff that's also getting graded. So that is all I have for now. Um, hopefully this was informative, if not, maybe a waste of time, but at least you got an idea where I work out of what I have. Um, I'll put the link to my eBay store if anybody's interested in those value boxes. Shoot me an offer even. Uh, I'm sure I'd come down on those. I'm just trying to get them out of my hair. They're just kind of sitting in the way. Uh, so if I can bulk them up and get them out and somebody else can utilize them, there is money there to be made. Or you can check out, I put a bunch of slabs on. A bunch. SGC, PSA. Um, I think they're reasonably priced. You know, shoot me an offer if you're looking to buy a lot. We can do a lot, you know, a big bulk order. Um, I can give you a good percentage. We'll work on the shipping from there as well. So as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and hopefully we'll have a box break in the next one.